everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader. And today I wanted to actually talk to you about my rating scales. So I get questions all the time about what does one star mean? What does five stars mean? What is one chili pepper, five chili peppers, blah, blah, blah. Like what do they all mean for me? Everybody does their own scales. They do them all differently and they're all really subjective, right? Everything is just what that reader feels. So even when I'm rating my own books, the ratings are super subjective. Like it's not a perfect science. It can't be compared to one another. I do it a lot based on my feeling and how I felt while I was reading the book, how I felt after the book, looking back on it. It's not perfect, but these are the guidelines that I try to go by. First, I'm gonna start with my star rating guidelines. So for me, one star means I didn't like it. I didn't like the book. Uh, I will not give it a star rating if I DNF'd it. So one star does still mean that I finished it, but I just did not like it. I would not recommend it. Two stars is, it was okay. I probably still wouldn't recommend it, but it doesn't mean if I don't recommend it that people aren't gonna read it, but I thought it was okay. Wasn't great, it was okay. Three stars to me is a good rating. That means I liked the book. I liked it. I didn't love it, I didn't really like it, but I liked it, it was good. Four stars is where we start getting into the I really liked it. I really, really liked it, but there was something about it that just didn't push me over to the edge of obsession, right? Which leads me to five stars, which is I am obsessed with this book. I love this book. Everybody must read this book. I am in a book hangover. I cannot stop thinking about it. A quick recap. One, I didn't like it. Two, it was okay. Three, it was good. I liked it. Four, I really, really liked it and five, loved this freaking book. Now I wanna talk about my spice rating. So I give chili peppers for spice rating. Sometimes I say steam, sometimes I say spice, sometimes I say smut. It all means the same thing to me. I do a rating of five out of five chili peppers and I actually do zero to five. So there's more options of this one. I feel like each of them has their place. I started doing the chili pepper rating because I had so many people asking me, is this appropriate for this age range? Should my kid read this? Um, I'm this age and I'm not allowed to read X, Y, Z. Can I read this? So that's why I started doing this. Um, but along with that, it is important to know what my ratings mean um, so that you can be a judge of whether or not you think you should read it or someone close to you should read it. Now we all have our own comfort levels with spice in books. Some people, that's all they want. Some people, they don't want any of it. And all of that's okay. I only do this so that I can give you a perception of what to expect because sometimes if it's not what you expected, whether there was a ton or not a, not any at all, like it just affects how you view the book because it's not what you expected. So I just like to give people that expectation so they can make the decision on whether or not they want to read it. Now, like I said, this is my scale. Everybody's scale is different. What my chili peppers mean does not correlate with anybody else's chili peppers. I made this up on my own. This is how I think about the book when I'm reading it. Zero chili peppers. That means there are only kisses. There's nothing else that happens kissing or a scene that it maybe implies but fades to black. No spice, nothing whatsoever. Doesn't mean there's not romance and a love story, but there's only kissing, absolutely nothing else. One chili pepper means that there is activity with probably mouths and hands, but nothing that is actual sex. Two chili peppers is when there is actual sex. Usually that for me in a book is, it happens maybe one time. Sometimes I'd give two chili peppers to a book that it happens more than once or if the chapter was pretty long, but it is only one time in the book. 
three chili peppers. So this is where a lot of my ratings kind of settle. I feel like three has a wide range. Three chili peppers can mean that it happens more than once in a book or that it's very, very descriptive or it's not descriptive, but it happens a lot. And that it happens a lot could mean that there's a lot of maybe the one and two that happens all the time. So it, it would be very low on my scale, but because it happens so often, I bump the number up a little bit. So three kind of has a wide range. Most of the books that I read kind of hit that three range where it is descriptive, it's often, but it's not only what the book's about or it's not uh, different or unique in any way. Four chili peppers. So I have not rated very many books with four chili peppers. Four to me means that there is not the typical sex that is occurring. Usually it is something that is maybe a little bit more unique or I hate to use the word kinky because I just don't like that word, but kinky. I've rated some books that have had multiple partners in the situation with a rating of four. So that is kind of what I look at. It's really, really, really often or it's really, really, really spicy. So it's either very descriptive or it's different than typical. I say that in air quotes because everybody's typical is different. Something that is more spicy, more often, more descriptive than three. Five chili peppers. So I have given books five chili peppers before. To me, a five chili pepper book is sex is the plot. The point is to only have sex scenes that's loosely tied together with a subplot of story. There are books that I have given five chili peppers to definitely where it's like, this is the point. First scene is sex. Second scene is kind of a plot. Third scene is sex, et cetera, et cetera. So very, very heavy in the sex. And it can usually be anywhere on the scale of descriptiveness. It's mostly that it just happens more often, but usually when it happens more often, it gets pretty descriptive. So that is like the most, obviously, it's the top of the scale. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, I feel weird talking about this in like the comments, but if you have questions on my scales, like definitely let me know. I try to make them as clear as possible. And when I'm trying to give the rating, I usually try to explain why I gave it that rating in the, the video, but not all the time I remember to do that. I do my best and I'm only human and every book is different. And so not every book is gonna fit in a standard scale rating of everything. So I try, but here is what I use as my guideline. Thanks for stopping by. I hope this video is helpful for you guys like looking at all of my other reviews. So um, if you have any questions, let me know below. And don't forget, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at The Fun Size Reader. See you guys next time.